Welcome to Agric Tutorial. In this edition, we will talk about measuring soil pH. Many farmers spend lots of money on fertilizer, but certain conditions must be in place for the plant to be able to take up the nutrients which are in the fertilizer. Do you know that most of the soils in West Africa are far too acidic? The plant roots are not able to take up the nutrients even though they are in the soil. In those cases, you just waste money on your fertilizer. Best soils are those which are neutral to slightly acidic. They can take up all the important nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Soil acidity is measured on a pH scale. The scale ranges from 0 to 14. Soils with pH 7 are called neutral. Soils with pH values towards 0 are called acidic and with values towards 14, alkaline. Most crops grow well in soils of pH values between 5.5 and 6.5. However, your soil in southern Ghana is likely to be far below that range, which means it is far too acidic. Typically, soils in southern Ghana have a pH value of 4.5 to 5. Your crop needs nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. This chart shows at which pH value these nutrients become well available to the plant and whether the roots can take them up. The broader the bar, the better the uptake. At pH 6 to 6.5, you will see that all nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are well available to the plant. At your usual pH level of about 4.5 to 5, you see that only iron is well available. You improve your soil pH by adding wood ashes, compost or lime. You need about 10 bags of lime per acre to increase the pH value by one unit. For example, from 5 to 6. This is about 5 kilograms of lime per mango tree. The lime should be applied on the drip line around the tree in a 1 meter wide band. So, before you purchase expensive fertilizer, first measure the pH of your soil and then correct it accordingly. We will now show you how to measure the pH. in my hand a spade. We are about to do our soil sampling. In, in soil sampling, we don't, we don't take soil from one spot of the agriculture field. We pick soil from various spots of the field. Then we combine it together and then pick our sample from it for analysis. And the depth of the soil from which you take your sample depends on the type of crop you are going to plant. For shallow crops like um, chili pepper, cabbage, lettuce, okra, garden eggs, tomatoes, the depth of the soil is from 0 to 15 centimeters. But for, annual, um, for perennial crops like mango, orange, you go as deep as from 0 to 30 centimeters or even more. The first thing you have to do is to get rid of the biomass from the surface of the soil. Make sure that there is no biomass on the surface of the soil. This is a demonstration of how to pick the soil sample for your analysis. I want to go as far as 15. So you pick representative of this soil from a depth of 15 centimeters across your field. Then what you do is you mix this together. You can use your hand to mix it together. You have to get rid of any foreign items in the soil. After taking your soil sample, make sure you fill back the holes to prevent people from stepping into it and getting the same injured. We 
have actually saw in this sample water, container, wooden stirrer, pH indicator kit, and then our pH scale. We pick a portion of the thoroughly mixed soil sample. The ratio of the water we are going to add to the soil sample should be 1 is to 2. We stir the soil sample for at most 30 minutes. We allowed the thoroughly mixed soil to settle for two hours. We are now going to check the pH of the soil sample. I have in my hand the pH indicator kit. We pick one stick. We then stir the water, the solution, with the pH indicator for three seconds. We compare the color we have on our stick with the pH scale to see which of them matches. We can see that the 4.7 matches with our, the color of our stick. So the pH of our soil sample is 4.7. It implies that our soil is acidic. We don't want an acidic soil. We want to raise the soil pH to a point whereby we can use it for aquatic production. That is between 6 and 7. We can see from the presentation that the pH of our soil is acidic. With acidic soil, we can raise the pH of an acidic soil to 6 by adding compost lime or wooden ashes. In a case where we have soil with a very high pH value, like 9, 10, we can reduce this pH value by adding compost or sulfur. This will help reduce the pH value to around 6. You see how important pH is in agriculture production. There is a need for us to know the state of our soil in agriculture production so that we can put the necessary measures in place to rectify those effects. For further information, you can get in touch with Ministry of Food and Agriculture, Bando Municipality. I'm James Kojo for Enforcement. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation.